Hey YouTubers, good evening. This is Mario Cosby coming at you with the final build to the 71, or I'm sorry, the 72 Ford Mach 1. And I have to say, I think it came out pretty good to a point to where I'm satisfied with it. So uh, with, with no delay, here it is. Um, give you a walk around. And then we'll uh we'll get to the nuts and bolts of this. Let me turn the light on here. Shine a little light on the subject here. Oops. Uh, for some reason that's just not coming up. There it is. Hey, it says Mach 1, but anyway. Um I put some bare metal foil over the Mach 1, you know, to, to see if I can get it highlighted, but that didn't work for me, so I'm going to have to take it off and paint it. Um, I scratch built the uh, rear spoiler, it didn't come in the kit, that scratch built. What I don't like about the kit, well, we'll get back to that later. I'll show you guys. Uh, hand painted the Mach 1 there. That is, you know, I could have put a black trim line down here, but you can, uh, in the one to one car, it comes with or without. So I left it off. Here's the front end. I'll get a little light on it. Let's see what's happening. There you go. I, uh, again, mock one down there in the corners here. Let me get a pointer. In the pointers here, the corners there, I mean, uh, turning signal uh, lights also, along with these. These, I believe, these are running lights, parking lights. Um, I'll, um, Show you the pros and cons of I scratch built the uh, traction bars there, and of course I used the uh, brakes and rotors, the rotors and the calibers from the dub wheels, um, and um, let me pull this light up. I don't know if you can see it, I just remembered it. See, there's a spinner right here. I don't know how well you can see it, or if you can see it at all, or if you can. But I, I have the whole, um, I have the rest of them. Um, they're these spinners, and I'm going to put them on the rest of the wheels sometime before the, uh, before NNL East comes up in April. So they'll go on there. Um, of course, the doors open. I'll show you inside. There you go. Let me put a light in there. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe something like right here. Yeah. Um, so I can't get to the interior any brighter. There you go. Something like that. You know, now some right on it. Uh, of course, I got my seat belts and um, flocking. This part came off. This I have to glue that back on. I might have to glue that back on. I see that just popped away, so I'll glue that back down. Um, back seat flocking. There's the flocking in the back, and uh, we'll open up this side. There we go. Steering wheel uh, does turn, doesn't turn the wheels though, but the wheels are turnable. Um, and the windshield wipers are up there somewhere. So let's look under the hood, and then we'll get to the uh, to the pros and cons of this thing. There we go. Let's shine a light down in there. There it is. Um, 
the right here, right this little thing sticking up right here is your dipstick. And the back there is your master cylinder with the reservoir. Um, this green wire simulates the coil, which is down there in the bottom. I'll show you in a minute. This is the ignition box. Um, see, it's getting blurry again. Um, here is the uh, washer fluid bottle. Here is your your two heater hoses. I uh, I made the starter solenoid because they are all Ford's or the earlier models came with starter solenoids. This right here is the pressure regulator for the carburetors. There's two carburetors, and I forgot to put the uh, I forgot to make up the linkage for the accelerator pedal. I'll do that. And uh, the hood pops off. Uh, there's a couple of this hold on by a couple of Phillips screws. Comes right off with no problems. Okay, now I don't know how well you can see that, but in the back here, here and here, are my uh, nitric oxide solenoids and my gas solenoids. And um, right in the manifold here is my nitric oxide line. So this is the this is what I call the fuel distribution. Um, point right here and the uh, nitric oxide distribution uh, controller and um, then it goes right into the manifolds in its individual uh, jets I guess you can call that um, let's see if we can see the coil on this see the little yellow thing down there with the tan yeah that's the coil um, I painted the yellow like Excel coils. Back then, in my day, that's the way they came. They're not big and square like you got them now. So there you have it. Um, now the cons of this, uh, this model here. What I didn't realize is that this windshield, I had originally, I'd gotten glue on it. And I couldn't figure out how I did that. Well, you know, we all do it. But um, right here on the edge here, there's a tiny little gap on each side. Basically, the glass is beveled on all three sides. So it's supposed to fit down inside this frame right, this, this frame right here. I'm sorry. But the glass is beveled is about the same size as the opening instead of be you know up from this part down on the sides it's short so you know go figure I'm trying to put this thing in and uh, when I glue it down I'm using my clear glue of course uh, and it's not setting it's not holding so I go and put CA on it now the CA of course the CA cloudied up on me so I wind up basically taking this windshield out three times sanding it three times then putting it back in again so I finally got it close to where I want it and um, don't look too bad it really doesn't the glass you know if I could find a replacement glass I would but uh, I think it came out pretty good um, the black glass wasn't a problem at all I mean it went right in bam wham thank you man um, the other thing I didn't like is I didn't, you don't of course you don't see these little things as you're putting it together because you know I I, I try to go and I try to follow the instructions the best I can as far as what step and sequence I'm in, but there's a little tiny gap right here, you know. I mean if you know, if you may not notice it, but uh, again I do. And uh, right here, for those um, that are wondering about my trunk deck it does open it's a little tight because of uh, the um, paint and clear that I have on here let me see if I can open it up here without popping paint off you know a chip in this thing there we go so it won't stay up on its own unfortunately but this let me get the light a little better here for you So there you have it. That's the trunk air. That's where the nitric oxide bottle is going at. Uh, as soon as that comes in, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna. I mean, it'll it'll stay up like that, but that looks kind of stupid, you know. So we'll see. But anyway, 
I'll show you underneath in a minute. Let me close the doors here. I hope these mirrors don't get messed up, but we'll only go lay it on its side for a second here. Let me see what happens. Let me get this door, hold that door for a minute. There we go. This is the underside. I um, the um, these pipes, these manifold pipes here, are aluminum. Um, made the crossover pipe, made those out of uh, you know uh, aluminum stick. Um, that's the uh, that's the, the the nine inch rear end. Um, these mufflers came out of my 2010 Mustang, an extra kit that I had, along with the, uh, along with these tips, uh, and along with the wheels, and along with these wheels. Um, so, um, basically, there you have it. The, um, for some reason, the sway bar came chrome, and I, I still can't figure that one out. But anyway, there's, you know, everything's in there, dry shafts, the whole nine yards. Um... For those that haven't watched the other videos, uh, I scratch built or made the uh, U, U, bolt, U, U clamps for the leaf springs, and then I put hardware on there, along with the shocks. Um, and basically, there you go. So, this is another Mustang that's going to go with my other two Mustangs that I have. Um... I'll show you those other two. I'm pretty sure if you guys haven't seen the videos of those, um, I'll show you in a minute. Give me a second. I'm going to take it over there to the other two. Uh, this fits you in here somewhere. But yeah, this is my um, this is my '65. This is a road um, road and track. Uh, kit and I believe it's from Monogram I'm not sure um, it started off as a 65 Mustang and um, uh, a road and track Mustang it had a 302, a 302 Shelby engine in it it was oh it's a 350 it's a GT 350 that's what it, that's what it started off as so I had a I had an extra mod I, well I didn't have an extra I had a 2010 Mustang and I was looking at both of them, and I'm saying, which one do I want to build? Then a thought came to me and say, hey, why don't you incorporate everything from the 2010 into the 65? So that's what I did. I got about 80 to 85% of the, of the, um, of the uh, 2010 GT500. It's in the 65. Um, just to show you, there's, that's the engine out of it. As you can see, I use just about everything. The washer tank, I mean, uh, the filler, I mean, the um, antifreeze uh, bottle, the fuel, I mean, the fuse uh, and relay control center. Um, everything's in here. The only thing I didn't run, there's the heater hoses right there. I don't know if I'm getting blurry on you. Um, the only thing I didn't run was the um, AC lines. Um, wired it, plumbed it, the whole nine yards. The same thing I did with the uh, interior. I took uh, the 2010's interior. What I took was the column, I mean the center console, and the seats. Um, and um, from the 2010 and used them, um, the dash and the um, and everything else is from the 65. I scratch built the um, the air intakes um, on that go on the side of the Mustangs. The glass rolls the glass rolls up and down on these things, so um, it was a pretty neat build. Uh, again, there's the wheels. I believe I used the brakes and the rotors from them. Yeah, they're in there. I'll show you underneath in a minute. Um, the mirrors are from the 2010 also. But yeah, there you have it. The front end is from the original 65. But the rear end is all the 2010. 
Everything's from 2010. Uh, with this model, I think I ran brake lines, fuel lines, the whole nine yards. And I did that to uh, the 72 Mustang. I just ran the um, brake lines. I normally don't do that because I feel that the model's going to be sitting on its tires instead of sitting on the roof. Uh, that's the back of it. I put the battery in the back. Of course, I had no room in the front. I made the filler neck. Uh, can't see that. Yeah, let's see it right there. The fuel filler neck. And um, let me come around here. Here's the passenger side. I don't know what's wrong with this door. It doesn't open all the way. But anyway, there you go. Of course, these seats don't move. And it's got its spare back there. That's the spare tire. So the, the, the trunk does close. So there you have it. Then, of course, those that have seen my 2010 Mustang. Um, come around here. Um, electric outside bottle and built the scratch built the roll cage. Everything in the back there. Uh, carbon fibered from the front to the back on top. Um, cobra uh, the cobra decal on the side. It's a ghost decal. You really got to take a look at it. Unfortunately, these doors don't open. I wish they did because I did a lot of detail on the interior of this car. Uh, seat belts, the you know roll cage. I mean every 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 little dot and dotted every you know I and crossed every T when it came to that interior. Uh, of course, uh, I used everything that came in the kit. Um, Yep, everything I used that came with this kit is in this car. Didn't didn't skimp on anything. Um, made the I don't know how well you can see that. Those are the tire valves um, or the air valves. I um, I uh, scratch built the tack. I think it took me about three months to build this thing, off and on. You know, so I put it on the side because I've had, oh, I had a lot of problems with the body and, you know, with this carbon fiber and it, it was it was the point where I was just going to say the heck with it, chuck it and just put it away. But, you know, I kept going back, working with it, you know, working on other projects then coming back to it. So that was a course of about three months and then all the engine work, um, you know everything's everything that came in the uh, in the boxes here. Everything that came in this kit is on this. Only difference I did was add the blower, um, nitric oxide. Um, that's what those red lines going into the manifold there, and the carburetors, and I ran the uh, steel braided lines there, and the heater hose there. Oh, sorry about that. I put my finger on. I said, "What the heck is that?" Um, the heater hoses are there, and with the a at this one, I put the AC lines on. So everything's on this car, and I think it looks fabulous. I'm very, very pleased with it. I guess persistence does pay off. Um, so there, there it was. So those are my three Mustangs. I think I'm done with Mustangs. I'm Mustanged out now. Um, for those. Um, NNL East is coming up in April. You can Google it, NNL East. And um, for those that live in the Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey area, um, that's where it's going to be in New Jersey. Um, somewhere around close to New York, but not in New York. It's going to be on the Jersey side. From where I'm at, it's about an hour and a half, and I'm pretty close to New York. About Oh, it's about 60 miles from here, I'm assuming. Um, so I'll be there, and, um, guess what their theme is this year? Mustangs. So, uh, 
they don't have a class for 112 scale, but I'm bringing them. So just so everybody can enjoy the eye candy. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. I want to thank all my new subscribers and those that come visit my uh, my page. And come check me out and leave your comments. I appreciate it very much. Um, you guys have a blessed day and a blessed evening and enjoy it. Take care now.